Hello everyone, welcome to the course on introduction to strategic sourcing. Before we start the introduction, I would like to pose a few questions to uh, the audience, the potential audience that you know, when we have to make a decision of buying a product, maybe a tech product, we generally, you know, consider so many criteria, you know, the price, the quality, you know, the delivery, the durability, you know, so many criteria have to be chosen, you know, to select the product, right? And this is a big decision for anyone, you know, you want to focus on after sales service, right? And it, it really takes a lot of time to decide even to buy a one product, maybe a tech product, maybe a mobile, maybe a laptop, right? Now, just imagine, you know, when we extend the same decision to an organization, probably in a B2B environment, or we can say supply chain, when, you know, a company like a big manufacturer or auto giant has to make decision of buying, buying hundreds, thousands of products from thousands and thousands of suppliers, right? So how, you know, these decisions are handled, right? It's very complex, right? So uh, welcome to the strategic sourcing course, like where, you know, broadly we want to address, you know, this question and uh, I am Harshinder Kaur. I am Professor in Department of Management Studies, IIT Madras. So we will do this course uh, with the this learning outcomes, right? First is to understand the supply process and strategic position of sourcing in an organization. It's been long that, you know, for many years, this sourcing function has been considered as a clerical function and it has really like uh, there's a paradigm shift happened in this uh, in this function and uh, we would see that you know how this function has become a strategic function when we say strategic it has become a very important function in an organization right when we say important that means it's a uh, it affects the bottom line of any business right we will see that how in this course Right. We will also devise the right appropriate, right and appropriate sourcing strategy for the specific need. Every organization has to buy many products, starting from nuts bolts to office supplies to as to uh, strategic components like engines. Right. So, should we have same strategy for all the product types? Right. The answer is no. Right. It has to be dependent on the specific type of product which we want to procure. So it depends on what are the types of needs first to identify the needs and then classify the needs and devise the right strategy for that need. Right. We would also understand, you know, what are the various quantitative models. Right. It is very important decision, you know, for any organization. Right. Because that organization has to spend, you know, there is around 70 to 80 percent of the spend goes in buying the products or you can say it is contributed by the supplied products right so when we know that that much spend goes in buying the products for any organization it is very important to understand you know what is the right price we are giving for the product right this can uh, be done by having a strategic cost management perspective right by a sourcing function okay so we will do that what is the right cost analysis price analysis under strategic cost management so that we can do the right decision of selecting and evaluating the suppliers there is a paradigm shift in the sourcing right and technology automation like this has become a must in any function or any unit of the organization we would focus on what are the latest technological developments happening in the sourcing and you know we will see how it has transformed to an e-procurement tool. We will see you know how e-reverse auctions have changed you know uh, from the era of just manual bidding you know to consider the advanced negotiation tools. We would also cover the sustainability aspects. It is very, very important these days to have a sustainable, when we say sustainable, environmental, social, ethical, ethical governance. So all those aspects are very important. And the most important thing which we have recently faced is the risk. We all have like come out of the COVID-19. So COVID-19 is just one kind of risk, but you know, when we 
look at the global supply chain especially the global supply network it is very important to capture the risk uh, in the supply network so we will cover all these topics in this course right so who can do this course you know the potential participants should be the students who wants to pursue career in procurement sourcing or supply chain you know for them this is this course will be very useful right where you know we will cover end to end topics on related to supply management function it is also useful for the industry professionals who want to change the career or you who want to uh, enter into the uh, era of uh, or or the discipline of sourcing or supply chain right where you know they will develop some competency on smart sourcing decision making right it is also useful for the industry practitioner like you know where they can understand what is the current trends in supply management including technological and su sustainable initiatives right so with this you know i welcome uh, all the participants to strategic sourcing course